Are you worried, though, about your future of the U.S. economy? Well, with so much uncertainty in the air, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time. It is gold. Gold, a biblical currency. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against the market volatility and economic instability. And with a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investment, you can harness the power of precious metals to help protect your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or your 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Just go to PastorPaulGold.com or call them at 877-646-5347. You can diversify your portfolio with a tangible asset that has real value. Setting up your gold IRA has never been easier with Noble Gold Investments. Streamline process and expert guidance. This election year, don't let election volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments says this is the time. Oh, and by the way, they if you do this, guys, at PastorPaulGold.com or call them at 877-646-5347. This is the Donald J. Trump silver, one ounce of pure silver coin. They will give you these, 10 of these for free. Or, guys, if you just want to call them, and order them yourself. You just want to purchase these yourself. You can as many as you want. Or some of you by that rollover of that 401k or that gold IRA, you could either get 10 of those Donald Trump coins, all silver, or this 10 ounce silver bar of the, of the American flag. They, you can get that for free. Or if you want to buy them, you can do that. Again, go to pastorpaulgold.com. Or call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. All right. Archaeologists excavating the tomb of Jifai Hapi, a governor of Egypt's Asut region during the Middle Kingdom, have discovered the burial site of his daughter, Edi. The find, announced by the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities on October the 2nd of 2024, revealed a burial chamber located about 50 feet down, containing two intricately painted coffins, one inside of the other. The larger coffin measured approximately 8.5 feet, while the smaller one was around 7.5 feet. The excavation was conducted by the University of Sohag and the Free University of Berlin. Despite signs of ancient theft, skeletal remains were found indicating Edie died before age 40 and had a congenital foot defect, Fox News has reported. This discovery contributes valuable insights into the Middle Kingdom, a period often overshadowed by earlier Old Kingdom and later New Kingdom. Ongoing research aims to uncover more about their lives. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events, historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end time. Is this the final meeting of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. The Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute in Washington, D.C. announced that two giant pandas are set to arrive from China this Tuesday. One is a descendant of another panda that was born at the zoo back in 2013. The National Zoo participates in a breeding program that is aimed at conserving the vulnerable species, which involves returning pandas born there to China at the age of four. This follows the recent arrival of pandas in the U.S. after a 21-year hiatus, signaling a renewed partnership between the United States and China in panda conservation, ABC News has reported. The exact arrival time has not been disclosed, 
for safety reasons. Oregon police arrested two suspects, Reginald Reynolds, 35 years old, and Mia Bagenstos, 37 years old, after pulling them over in a stolen car. During the search, officers found a large stash of methamphetamine inside of a bag that was humorously labeled, definitely not a bag full of drugs. Reynolds was carrying a loaded handgun, meth, and cash, while Bagenstos had pills and drug paraphernalia. The police seized about half a pound of meth along with other drug-related items, the smoking gun has reported. Both suspects were charged with multiple felonies, including vehicle theft and meth trafficking. Breaking news, everyone. Glad you're with me. Are you serious? Things are getting very, very dangerous in the Middle East. There is movement. There is things taking place as we speak. And uh, let me tell you all about it. First, I'm going to put a shout out real fast for everybody that's not saved. Every person on the planet, everyone that hears this video, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to consider doing it now. We are so close to the rapture. We've never been this close. I don't know the day or the hour that the Lord is coming, but the prophecies in the Bible, and we wrote about even here in our book, Revelation 9-11, tells us that we are on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. We're in the apocalyptic hour, really. Something biblical is definitely going on with the signs of the second coming, second coming of Christ. I want you to know right now that God loves you. And you can be saved and be filled with the joy and take away all that anxiety and all that uh, concern and, uh, and, and that feeling of not knowing where you're saved or lost. That can go away today. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him come into your heart. Repent of your sins and be born again. And get ready for the coming of the Lord. All right? All right.